Yeah, I think the uh, it's probably easy when a ball game like that, especially the way that it ended, to be you know to be giddy and excited. But I I, I I always walk away from those games, whether I'm on this side of it or the other side of it, that uh, that's why we love this game and that's why we hate this game. And it can it can give you such a, a, a range of emotions in just uh, in a short amount of time and. And, and quite honestly, I was already, I shouldn't say it publicly, but I was already formulating my what am I going to say to these guys' speech at the end of the game. And uh, so uh, it's just a heck of a ball game. And, you know, I thought uh, Valparaiso's pitcher did an unbelievable job against us, uh, kept us in check the whole way. But I think what you see with that game again, going back to baseball, that's why it's such a great game because you can never tell until that last out is over with. So. Uh, wonderful ball game. Certainly, I, I know I, I, I speak for these guys and everybody in that locker room. I'm very glad we won the game. Um, uh, but again, you know, I, I'm not going to do the. You know, and I know I've been on the other side of that with Tracy, uh, you know, and how they must be feeling. But they had a, it, was a, it was a good ball game on their end, and we just got and, and we were fortunate tonight. So, open up for questions for them. Uh, Dustin DeBierak, Bloomington Herald Times. Chad, I guess just take us through your ninth inning, from the air to the at-bat to everything after. Just what was that entire inning like for you emotionally? Um, what started off was the uh, the bases loaded, uh, fielder's choice. Um, kind of, I was late to the bag, and we didn't get that guy. And then um, I was playing back also to kind of kind of keep the keep him from getting the base hit, and uh, kind of overran the ball a little bit. So I knew uh, I had a little motivation going into the ninth, the bottom of the ninth. I was pretty mad, but um, I kind of used that to my advantage. Zach Osterman, Inside Indiana. But Chad and Casey kind of, I mean, Kowalczyk, I think he'd given up a one earned run in 25 innings coming in. What what, what were you seeing so well off of him, just the four of you, Michael, Dustin, and then you two guys? I think the easiest part for me was just switching to the right side. I see it a lot better. I just see it react. Um, I was just looking for, um, I was kind of laying off the slider because he was throwing out off the plate. And um, I knew he was coming back with the fastballs like later in the game. Um, he was working some right-handed hitters inside. And um, I swung at the first pitch up and in and just kind of, it was more of a reaction, a reaction swing than anything else. Joe Popley, IDS. Chad, have you ever gone from the GOAT to the hero? that quickly and just how much relief did you feel uh, just like I, I picked up my teammates um, that's never happened to me in my life um, uh, I never had a walk off hit um, it just it feels great just to, um, I don't know <laughs> it feels good to um, help the team out again kind of make up for my mistakes in the field uh, Casey your dad talked last week about you know if it's not easy, it's not as fun. Um, two weeks ago against Ohio State, against Dempsey, uh, last week in the Big Ten tournament, and first walk-off win was for the Big Ten championship, and then tonight, you know, does this team feed off the drama as it increases exponentially? Yeah, I mean, I'd say so. I think we saw all the people there, we wanted to give them a show all the way down to the last out, <laughs> which we did. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, um, you know, four and two thirds from you tonight. I mean, just what was working for you, or four and four and a third? What was working for you out on the mound? It felt like you just kind of got into a groove right away. Yeah. Um, right when I got out there, I knew I had a job to do, keep us in the game, and uh, felt like I did that. I knew I knew our bats would come around eventually, um, like they did. Um, so I just uh, tried to mix up my pitches a lot, which uh, seemed to be working, and uh, keep the ball down. Uh, Andy Graham, Bloomington Herald Times. Uh, Chad. Uh, did you have some relatives in from California tonight? Last time you had a big game, I talked to you, you did. Oh, yeah, my uh, my dad, my mom, my grandma are here from California. They came in last night at 1 a.m. So there, there you go, that's the key. Um, they made it out here. <laughs> no, it, first home run of the year, uh, when when you hit it, did you know it? Or when yeah. did you know it? And how, yeah. did, how did it, can you describe the feeling when you um, knew it? I kind of knew it. I knew I was going to smoke the ball right when, he, right when it came out of his hand because he hung the slider. Um, and I was sitting on the slider too, so I knew it was coming. And then right when I hit it, I knew it too. I guess just going off of that, I guess when you come around the plate and I guess everybody piles on you, what was that whole scene like? And it seemed like a couple of guys just sort of grabbed you and said something to you. It seemed like maybe three or four guys that you were walking to the dugout. 
what did all those guys say? Just what was what were those moments like afterwards? Um, I don't really even know what they said. I kind of, <laughs> kind of forgot, but um, it was just all positive, like I love you stuff like that. So, <laughs> <laughs> that was that was most of it. We're really close team. <laughs> Craig Gregg, Shitney Sports Legends. Uh, for the players, just kind of talk about the emotions that uh, came from the start of the game, with having, uh, hosting the regional and having a home crowd here, and just how much those emotions played in at the start, and was there ever a point in the game where you had to kind of put those emotions aside and kind of get into the flow of the game? I would say, I mean, yeah, I mean, you look around, it's hard not to see everything going on. It's hard not to see thousands of people and where we were last year to where we are now. And the one thing I think this team is so good at is we don't ride on emotion. I think we stay pretty steady, as Evan um, was t tonight with the home run late in the game. Yeah, it was definitely it was definitely great to see all those people. We've had great fan support all year, and it's uh, good to see them come out for the regional. And uh, I think we fed off that a little bit. There was obviously some jitters at the beginning, but we just definitely settled in, and uh, I think we're going to play our type of baseball for the rest of the yeah, as the, uh, the start of the game, there were definitely some nerves, uh, especially with the crowd. Um, but as the game went on, we kind of settled down, and uh, the bats started coming alive a little bit. And uh, we kind of kind of played our game and um, basically just kept going and kept being confident and all that. This is for, last, last question. This is for all three of you. Coach always talks about you guys have become accustomed to having the target on your back. Did this game, having the late rally sort of, did it all serve as like a wake-up call or anything like that, that it's postseason time and even the Valparaisos and tomorrow will be Austin Peas are going to bring their best? Yeah, I think we got a new life. Um, I think that home run helped us, you know, just push that one aside, all mistakes, forget about them, keep moving on tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. I think with uh, Chet doing what he did in the last inning, I think it's huge for going to tomorrow. And uh, I think, like I said, it's definitely be more our game tomorrow and uh, playing Indiana baseball like we're supposed to do. Yeah, we got the kinks out this game. I think uh, we're ready to go tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Okay. These guys are fun. <laughs> I like these guys. So was, it, was it a slider or a fastball? A slider. A slider. A slider. Uh, game started off sloppy for you guys. Chad comes out and does what he does. Just what was that like to see a guy like I asked him that made a mistake and was able to forget about it and come with a good approach to the play? Well, and I was gonna, I mean, I was gonna put my own context to really because I, I, I think in fairness to him, before we run with the goat to hero uh, scenario, if you, I mean, he really the inning that or the play where we didn't get the force at second. He was deep. He was playing deep. Uh, that, that flip never should have gone to second. Uh, the play that the only mistake he made in that inning, in my opinion, was allowing the second run to happen. They were going to get, they were going to beat out the ball at first place on the other one. So the mishandle on that. So I, I think we've, you know, I want to be fair to him that um, he wasn't the result of, of three runs. I mean, the, the thing to me was just the one mistake of not keeping but um, it was so funny. If you, you can get a sense of how he is right there, he's he's a tough guy. There'll be days in practice when he'll do things the most bonehead things you've ever seen in your life, <laughs> and you can't stay mad at him because you say something to him, he just looks right at you and says, "My fault, coach. I won't do it again." You know, you just kind of walk away. When I'm, you know, the world we're used to now is people make excuses and do all these things, and and so. Uh, I'm not surprised. He doesn't let things bother him. And, 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 again, I don't want him to go away thinking that he had to do what he did right there because it didn't really cost us a lot, that, that last one. It was a big hit, but that dude, won't he won't be like this on that. He's, he's That's just not in his personality. He's going to stay right here, and, and that's what I love about that kid. So, um, But I'm happy I'm happy for him. That was a huge, huge hit. Totally going to bust into the chat. Clark, line of question. But, but sort of twofold here. What was the thinking behind pulling Slagers after four innings, and then how big was it 
what you got from Efros. I know he's been doing that a lot this year, but how, how important was it tonight? You know, it, and, and you know they can say what they want. Um, I, I would beg to differ on, on their reaction to tonight and the crowd. I mean, I, I thought we were, uh, and my son probably said it best, he wanted to put on a show. I, I mean, I felt like we were more worried about playing well for our hometown people rather than just going out and playing baseball. I, and, and that's all I said to him during the game after that happened. It's like, okay, we ready now? Because we were so caught up in, and I think Slagers was a perfect example of that. He's been around the zone, attacking the zone, and that, that wasn't him tonight. And so that was, you know, I, I did not like what I was seeing out of him. Um, I thought he was pitching tentatively, I, I, and that's not him. So whether it was the nerves, whether it was he's, I don't think he's fatigued, um, he just wasn't sharp tonight, but that's the beauty of this is he's got quality guys that come in behind him. So, um, you know, he'll, uh, he'll live to fight another day, I hope. Uh, Coach Pat Hickey, Baseball America. I noticed uh, in the seventh inning, I think, uh, uh, Casey's first double, uh, he flipped and hit right hand against a right hand hitter. Um, I guess just what did, what did you guys see from uh, Cole Webb tonight? Uh, your guys is approaching in him. You know, I'm going back to, and that's where I'll probably lay awake tonight just on what I said. Was it our nerves? Were we too anxious? Or I'm not going to deny that that kid was, he was on. I mean, and, and he was on tonight. And because he had some pretty darn good hitters coming back saying, I can't see it. And if you notice, we swung on a lot of, the left handers were swinging a lot of back foot uh, breaking balls. And, um, you know, Casey came to me and said, I, I just, I, I think I'll see it much better right-handed. And, and I and I'd actually thought about that earlier. It looked like to me that our right-handers were seeing the ball better. So, um, that, I, you know, he was on tonight and did a really good job of keeping us in check. It's a good thing he has his mother's genetics where he can switch around like that, <laughs> right-handed and left-handed. Coach, you just mentioned it before just Chad playing back. I mean, Chad seems to, I guess he always plays back. I mean, what's really the theory behind putting it back as far as Well, it just, you know, you, you know, turf. Yeah. Uh, at that at, at that point, um, you know, that kid had struck a couple balls hard to that side. You're just trying to be as big as you can and, and, and give yourself a better percentage on an angle. Um, and that was really the decision on that. And when he, when they don't hit it with, with a lot of force, it makes you look silly. But if he smokes one and gives you an extra better angle and he keeps it in the infield right there and throws a guy out, you look like a genius. Uh, but, you know, I'm a big percentage guy and try to play those and, you know, and I, I try to see what the hitter's doing and that kid had put some pretty good swings on him to the right side and he just happened to roll over that one a little bit. But in my opinion, I think he was probably going to beat that one out anyway. The second run shouldn't have happened, but certainly the first one I think he was going to be sitting. Leaving me. What's that? It's leaving me. You forgot your plan. Yeah, Anything else? No. Uh, Alex McCarthy, uh, Inside Indiana. You said that you were thinking uh, about what you were going to say to the team after the game before the big comeback. What did you end up saying to them after the game? Well, that was, I mean, I, I was, I, and that's the, this game can be so mental. It's, you know, it's like golf. I always tell people this game can give you such a wide range of emotions, and I'm human too. I'm just sitting there the whole time. It's like I'm frustrated. Internally, I'm trying not to show it externally, but I'm frustrated internally because I'm saying we're better than what we're doing right now. And, and I knew, you know, these guys, sometimes I think we forget they're 18, 17, 18 year old kids, 20. This is the first time they've seen this. And they're trying to please everybody here in their hometown. So I was kind of running through that. But, uh, you know, one swing of the bat changed all that. It, but it, it was the feeling, it was kind of like, okay, monkey off the back, let's play. And, and that was probably going to be my greatest disappointment is, you know, the, the, the web was on, but I didn't think that we were we weren't playing our style of baseball. We were so anxious tonight, swinging a ton of bad pitches. But now I think, uh, as Chad, I think it was Chad that said that, that, you know, that hit's going to help us. And, and not only does it help you stay in the winner's bracket, but I think it's going to help guys relax.